Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Olivia Shad Day. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell button just to know every single time I'm posting these videos. Today is literally just gonna be another thrift day. I don't know if y'all are tired of that or y'all enjoy it, but yeah, today's gonna be another thrift day. We're gonna try two thrift stores, um, me and Ism. So we're just gonna look around and see. Hopefully I get food. Yeah, so I'm in my closet now. I wish I did more of like a closet fit transformation, but my I move so slow, guys. It's kind of ridiculous. Like this is my current closet at the moment. So this is like my little PR corner. Like a couple tees I were sent. This was the robe for the shoot. Of course, you have to have your work everywhere. And then this is just a couple notes of what I want to change in my closet. No hangers, makeup organizer, LED lights for my mirror. I want my mirror to go on the wall. Um, basically, this is just all my stuff. I'm trying to get rid of these dressers because I don't like them at all. And yeah, look at that. Shoe boxes and everything. It's a process. But yeah, I'm going to just get ready now and then we're going to be on the road. And I don't think I'm gonna put any makeup on because I've just been freaking out bad. And I wanna give my skin like a break, so no makeup today. Is it recording? Yes. It's oh. been what the fuck? What? Anyway, we're here. Y'all here, you already know. About to pick up something potentially they might have nothing in here but you know you gotta try trial and error so i want like blanket pants i just don't know what fucking blanket like i got a pair like this because i'm gonna show you guys the trend that's going around <laughs> But that's what I want to make. So that is the goal of my mission right now. And I think I want, I want a lot of blanket pants. Oh my God, this is cloudy. Um, Isn't lost his ring, so we're panicking for like a good 50 minutes. But I seen the shirt because I'm making like a reconstructing collection. Why? Though? Why is the cat's eye so red? Is this like a snack? <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm trying to get a couple. Alright, so I got a bunch of blankets. I don't know why I picked this up. Because, yeah. <laughs> I have no dressers, like. <gasps> that is nice though. Cause I'm picturing it with like chains and stuff. Yeah. I don't know why I picked this up. This shit's too light for me. Is this the earth color, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? But look at the pattern. It's a sweater. Here's a go. I can't even see. Is it facing you? <laughs> but he got his basket. I got mine, just full of blankets that I'm just gonna recreate through the brand. You know me, I got black stuff because my closet lacks color. Down to the socks. Down to the go. Oh, we still at thrift number one. You still wanna go to American thrift? Oh my god, another fat boy run. Get ass! Nah, that's actually crazy because our first thing was oh i think this shit is yours this shit is heavy as fuck look at that look at that look hi look insane all right so it is the next day um i went thrifting with ism i really didn't even get anything for myself because it was like a new thrift spot and i didn't really see a lot of things so maybe i just gotta stick to what i know um so i'm gonna show you guys what i got i got these blankets i'm gonna include the screenshots i sent to jada and my inspiration was to make these pajama pants that are super trendy um i got this it wasn't like a like those um blanket material but i wanted to make something out of it 
in conclusion right now i'm looking up how to make pant patterns which i just did off of the pants i have if you guys notice this is from that picture i took when i was in atlanta so so i just traced my pants and then i added a half an inch on the side um i added an inch at the top for the waistband and then an inch at the bottom for a hem so if you guys are sewing people you know what i'm talking about so now i'm trying to figure out how to fold the fabric in a way where i can get the blanket and trimming to be on the sides when i sew them so yeah i'm gonna keep you guys updated while i work and you guys get to see if this comes out good all right so i'm dead i look crazy but i'm not gonna lie to you when i start constructing stuff i get pretty nervous um my ring is from Billy Valentine if you watch my other video. Yes, my lace, my lace is lifting. I cannot wait for my next wave. So, um, I'm laying out the fabric now. If you guys wanna do it on your own for any blankets or this particular blanket, I'm going to leave the video that I'm following in the description below. Um, it's pretty helpful, pretty easy. Um, and I've had experience in sewing. I took sewing in college, so it's pretty, I just need some reassurance like if I fuck up like I don't want it to be all my fault I want to like have somebody to blame so I'm gonna lay out the fabric um, I'm gonna put my pattern on and I'm gonna cut them out and then that's when the construction begins I should be able to do this in like 20 minutes but I'm vibing out and it's yeah I'm not focusing but yeah so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna keep you updated once I cut out the fabric so this is what I have up to so far um, if you're watching the same video as me, you know she told you to fold it over. So I did it twice, so I have two folds, one here, and then the next one. Oh wait, I don't know if I have a double fold. <gasps> okay, let me figure it out and come back to you. Honestly guys, um, the dilemma I'm having is I don't know if there's gonna be enough fabric because it's a blanket, but I'm just gonna wing it and cut out my first leg, and then I'm just gonna cut out my second leg. And honestly, all I need is those two pieces. So if I could cut out one leg and make enough fabric for the next leg, I am good. I don't have to worry. And I think for this pants, I think I'm going to do the trimming at the bottom only because it's easier. And honestly, my brain can't wrap around how to do the sides. So let's see how this goes. Hey, Check the freezer. Uh, yeah. This is how it looks. Honestly, it's in top. Um, I folded it exactly to the pattern, so I have enough fabric, hopefully, on the other side. I don't know. Oh, it's making me nervous guys. I don't know if I do my pattern too big, but again, I based it off of these pants. The fit on these pants is what I like because they're loose, they're baggy, and I didn't really want slim fitted or jeans to refer them by, so I wanted to get something really close to pajama fabric or pajama fit. And yeah, so I'm gonna cut this out. I have my fabric scissors these are real fabric scissors i do have a pair of cheap ones that i bought for class right here and this is also what i got from the thrift when i went this coach coin curse i'm going to cut these out again i'm going to leave the bottom on because i really do love that look and then yeah let's see if i have enough fabric i'm actually going to cry if i don't have enough fabric so beware Well, honestly, at this part, it's not going to really look like pants just yet. And in the video, I was just like, what? Um, my camera's going to die. So 
um i'm probably gonna show you the end result um if you guys want a detailed video just let me know in the comments below because again my phone will, my camera will die um stay tuned to see if i have enough fabric all right so it is the next day i am on my way to my nail appointment but the pants are complete this is how they look sorry for my messy bed but there's just a couple threads that i need to cut like them long ones but if you look at it they're pants i did the fraying at the bottom and honestly guys it does not fit me but it fits jada so i'm just gonna make it for um smaller sizes well i can adjust it honestly but this pants cannot fit me so i still want to cut two holes here so i can make a drawstring that's able to go through and you know adjust to someone so yeah i'm gonna have more of these dropping hopefully in november for oliviashade.co i don't want to just stick to pants i also want to do bodices corsets a matching skirt set and stuff so i have a lot planned and then i also made these two drawstring shirts which i'll show you guys how it looks but yeah so that was how these came out don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that bell button just to know every single time I'm posting these videos more content coming soon i'm going to show you guys how the photo shoot came out right now it was great and i loved it and i thank you guys so much for supporting me through everything really so i'm gonna catch you on the next video